thousand pounds, 70 cubic inch Ninja. Super low modification on it. This is what a 90 looks like. If you guys don't get these mixed up. All the guppies are maximum full. Fill to the top. Two hundred pounds. Go to the top. Two hundred pounds. First thing that we did to the gun, first modification, is we made the body in two pieces. It allows us to do our ops on verticals. Uh, we don't have to have a sleeve. We can get the bolt closer to the hammer, which allows no kick. Without a sleeve, we have no ledges to go down. We have perfect airflow. We can do air passages. Uh, it's a great idea. Nobody's done it. I don't know why, uh, but it makes it kind of nice. Uh, we can build back halves different, front half different. You see what I mean? So it allows us a lot of versions. Uh, the most important thing that we've made in the gun is the manifold system. The manifold system is what is the heart of the gun. This is what makes this gun work. It's like putting and polishing engine heads. I mean, all the air transfer holes are at round angles, so we have no drag, nothing like that. Sealed up rock solid, mounts the solenoid into it, allows us to unbolt the solenoid without taking the manifold out. This manifold stays in the gun all times. There's no use of you taking it out. It's got real small O-rings. They're Loctited on, leave them alone. This is a real simple item. Next thing we did is the ASA. We made the ASA a little bit different from our cam drive and stuff like that. We made it screw in, but what we did different than anybody else, we put a piston in front of the screw in. It's a little teeny piston that goes in here and it goes right in here. And uh, 
it makes it like a ball bearing. So it moves really, really easy, real well, bleeds well, excellent little ASA. Another thing that we did was we put a reg extender, but not only it's a reg extender, it's an air passage extender. Back to the port and polishing. All the angles are at angles. They're not 90 degrees, so no curves. It's completely airflow. This little extender transfers air in two different directions and they cross each other. We put this on the gun. This does not need to be taken off. There's nothing you're going to do in there. Uh, you might have to change a Schrader valve, but that's about it. And that comes out from the other side. The regulator, it's the same regulator as a Mark. Exactly the same spring stack, except we run a it's called a blue spring stack. It's an extremely low spring stack. It allows the gun to uh, flow air faster than high pressure does. Uh, and you can see the difference. Uh, your shot count will increase, the gun won't bog, stuff like that. So remember, it has to have low pressure. It bottoms out at about 240 pounds, so it's extremely, extremely low pressure. Uh, Another thing we did was the grip assembly. We made a complete mold for the grip assembly. We put a little plastic ledge inside of it, and what that does is seals around the grip so it kind of makes it a little bit more waterproof when you dive into those ponds and stuff like that when you're playing. So, you know, it's not the perfect match, but I think it works real well. LPR, we changed it a little bit. We worked it the same way. It's exactly the same LPR that we had on the vise and all that stuff, piston size and everything. The only thing we did different is we screw it in instead of a screw going in. Now we reverse threaded it on this part to where you can take it apart with a brooch in the back. An Allen wrench goes in the back, pops it loose, cleans it, whatever you want to do. Uh, reg tester, I'll show you later on the reg tester, a very important factor. Our reg tester screws on the front of the gun. This screws into the reg tester and it tells you the pressure of the LPR and the HPR. You can shoot the gun so you can clear the air passages out and it works really well. Yeah, I'm really a firm believer in you know, reg testers and everybody knows that because you can't tell what your pressures are at and it won't, it'll shoot different. Um, we did, we are using, CP is making us the barrels. Uh, we went down to 8.5, small breech. We will, uh, everybody's paint's too small anymore, so that helps us. We still have the lever lock feed neck, excellent little lever lock. We're still running Will's board. He has an excellent board. He has great reputation. Uh, we still have his board in this gun. We're very happy with it. Uh, it has a great balance point. Uh, everybody doesn't understand, but there's a grip, there's a space in here. The, it's like the old long bolt Timmy's. Uh, I don't know if you guys can remember them, they've been made years ago, but it had a great balance point. Even though this gun only weighs one pound, 13 ounces, it still has an extremely well balance point. Plus, it's fast, it's dual eye compatible, uh, it's got all the bells and whistles that you can put on. It's got a bumper inside the bumper back here, and what I mean by that is it's got a little Delron cushion back there to keep the slap of the pink, pink, you know. It, we, we listen to you guys, that, that's in there. It's got a screw inside the breech to where you don't strip out the screw. There's nothing in it, it works like a scratch grip. The bolt that's in this is a vice bolt. We got a new bolt that will be coming tomorrow. Uh, it's a dirt free bolt. It doesn't allow any dirt to go through this part and it's got a little bit of a different tip. It's not like an eclipse, it just keeps a bobble and it works really well. Another thing we did is we allowed the trigger to come out of the front. You get shot in the trigger, you can pull it out, yank it out, put it back in. So you don't have to take your whole gun apart. Remember, all these tests that I do guys, they all vary. Um, uh, you, we're averaging between 55 and 65 shots per hundred. We've tested it a whole bunch of times already. Uh, this gun's probably had 30 cases through it. Uh, I'm going to say this gun, depending on the bore match, depending on the speed you shoot, it works on 5 milliseconds. Some guns work at 6. Some work, I've had them as low as 4. Uh, the lower that dwell setting, the faster this gun will be and the better shot count it get. So everybody's got their variables all the time. Maximum, I'm going to say you're going to get between 21 and 2,500 shots. It all depends on how fast you shoot the gun. So there, there's, there's always variables, and you've got to remember there's always variables. But I'm telling you right now, this is the best gas consumption gun I have shot so far. Uh, you know, I'd like somebody else to do some of these tests and put their videos out here and show what they can really do. I'm showing you in the honest way.